Hi Shell, this is Will. I just thought I'd do a quick video for you to show you how to uh, fix this red colour cast problem we've got on this picture. Um, I apologise now if I've mispronounced your name. I assume it's Shell from the way you spell it, So, uh, but if not, uh, I, I do apologise. So, Right. Um, what I have here is just a, a pretty low res screen grab of your picture that, uh, that, we, that we're discussing, but it should do, uh, do, do the trick anyway. The first thing I always do <coughs> in uh, and any editing at all is to uh, create a copy layer. So I've always got a background layer to get back to, um, to just to make sure that I can get back to anything I've, I've messed up, or for the, in this case, so I can see a comparison. Now I don't know if you're on a Mac or you're on a PC, so let's uh, see if we can cater for both. On the Mac, it's a Command J. On the PC, it's a Control J. So just do that, and that creates us a, uh, a new layer, and we can turn the visibility on and off with a uh, little eye, which I'm sure you're very much aware of anyway. Right, <clears throat> on this picture here, um, we've got a fairly strong red color cast, and what I'm gonna do is try and fix that by setting the gray point. Now, the way we do that, um, on, the, on the Mac, it's Command L, on the PC, Control L, I have to bring up your levels menu. Uh, there's a little dropper here called the, uh, the gray point dropper. You just click on there. And then we go around here and we click on something that's grey. Now the problem we have is determining which bit is, is grey. Um, we can use our eye, uh, but that's uh, that's then depends on the, um, the essentially our monitor, if you will, how our monitor has been calibrated. And if we click in the wrong place, for example, down here, we can see that's going to uh, do, do a pretty poor job. So what I'm going to do is click cancel on here. And I'm going to create a new blank layer. Now the way we do that on the Mac is uh, command shift n on the pc control shift n so i'm going to do command shift n that just creates a say a blank layer i'm going to click ok now we have uh, just a completely blank layer i'm now going to fill it with a with a specific color so i go to edit fill and here i've already got it selected on mine i go from this little drop down here i'm going to select 50% gray opacity normal uh, opacity 100% mode normal and I've got uh, transparency switched off. So I'm just going to click that on. Now then let's fill this with a, a known colour. And what I'm going to do now from my menu here, the, the blending mode menu, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go down to the mode called difference. This makes your picture look a little bit a uh, bit weird but what it does and I'm not going to go into details as to why it does that at the moment is if we zoom in areas that are properly grey now will appear black. In our case now, if we zoom right in, I'm going to go right in there, okay, there's only a low-res version I've got, but you will see here, you're seeing something that's around about, this is pretty black here in her eye. So what I'm going to do now is click back down onto the uh, the layer below this grey layer. I'm going to do Command L, Control L if you're on a PC to bring up the layers, the levels, sorry. I'm going to click this middle dropper here. I'm going to click on this pixel here and you may see a slight change to the screen. Just a very slight change there. I'm going to click OK, and zoom back, like this, there we go, and then I'm going to uncheck the eye on the this layer here, the layer with the grey on it, and you'll see, now we, we can see our picture again. Now it may not seem very different, but if we get um, the little eye on this layer, then we should be able to see a slight change in the colour cast. So if we go right in, you can see that if I uncheck this layer that we've just modified, you can probably see a slight red tinge. A lot of these changes are very subtle, so but that's 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 absolutely fine. So now, <clears throat> if we play with this layer, then um, or you could say this layer is now complete. We've we've fixed our color cast and that that's all good to go. However, um, I'd like to show you just a couple of little tricks. You said you're keen to learn some bits and pieces, so I'll show you a couple of tricks which I think may improve things a little bit for you. Um, on the filter menu, so this layer selected, and what I'm going to do actually is just get rid of this layer. I can select it, I can do a left click and drag it to the bin, just there, and that'll go away for us. With this new color cast corrected layer selected, I'm going to go to the filter menu. I'm going to come down to sharpen, and all the way down to unsharp mask. <clears throat> now, by default, these, these settings are around this sort of thing here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting a cold. Um, and this is based around, as it, as it uh, says on the tin, sharpening. However, this tool is just a perception 
of sharpening. It doesn't actually sharpen as such, it just gives you the perception of sharpening. And that's not what I want to use it for here. Um, what I'm looking to do here is to use this to give your picture a little bit more what we call pop. So I'm going to drop this right down to zero. Drag to one even. And I'm going to select in here, you can do a left click and drag across, or you can drag the slider. And we're going to go all the way up to about 40. Okay. Now then, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this up to probably around about 16, 17, 18, something like that. And you'll see what it's done is it's given us a more contrasty sort of picture. So I'm going to click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this little uh, visibility marker here so you can see what the original picture was like. So if I go to the original, and this one, you'll see it's given us a little bit more pop. And as a, as a direct comparison between what we've just done and the layer, that we did it too. I'm just going to switch the layer up, that undo that action on and off. Hang on a minute. Here we go. So this is with that uh, unsharp mask on, and that's without. So with, without, with, without, with. So you can see it just gives it a little tiny bit more pop. Now uh, one other thing you can do is <clears throat> I can do another command J to create a new layer. Is to go to filter, other, high pass. And what we're doing here, we're actually finding the sharp edges within our picture. So if you go bonkers, it'll do all sorts of weird things for you, but you want to keep it really quite low, otherwise it can do some damage, if you will. So around about 0.5 to 1, something like that. Click OK, and then change your blend mode here to Vivid Light. Um, it looks horribly crunchy now. Uh, this is partly because I'm working on a quite a low-res picture, uh, but partly because this, this is what it'll do to it. So in order to, to temper that a little bit, go to your opacity slider here that I'm moving the mouse around on now. Hit the drop down, left click on the slider, bring it right down. So maybe around here, I'm not sure it's hard to say, you've got to play around with these things. And then as we did before, take out the little eye here, click it on and off, and you can see very, very subtle changes in sharpness perhaps here. Or maybe not at all, you know, little tiny changes. Because I'm working on such a low res picture, you can't really see much. So I'm going to actually wind this up a bit. It'll look a bit crunchy. You can see here around the teeth, it's all just a little bit white, horribly white and crunchy now. But you can see the effect. Um, <clears throat> if you're working on a proper full res picture, it will have um, you know, a, a, better, a better job than this is. But watch out for using too much of this um, because it, it can send the whites horribly white, almost blown out, and the edges can be crunchy. Um, you might say, why don't I just use um, the unsharp mask in sharpening mode, as it were. Uh, one of the reasons for that is on her leg here, you'll see, uh, because it's a low-res picture, I've got some JPEG artifacts. But when you've used the sharpening tool, it tends to sharpen everything and can, can, can do a bit, of, a bit of a mischief to the skin. So I tend to use that sometimes if I'm going to just try to pick out edges to, uh, to get a better definition. Anyway, so um, if we look at the start to finish there, what am I going to do here? <coughs> Another little trick that you, you may or may not want to use is with the top layer selected if you do a uh, on the Mac it's con command alt shift E on the PC it's control alt shift E what that does it combines all the layers below into one layer above uh, into one new layer and I can then undo these two layers below in terms of switching off so you can't see them so now if I switch this off this is the very first picture we start with my screen grab from your picture and this is the one we've just ended up with from that process. So you can see the colour cast has gone. Um, it's got a little bit more pop and a bit more definition. So, you know, this is just a very, very quick quick look-see. You can do all sorts of things and do a, a considerably better job than I've just done here in five minutes. But uh, hopefully that's given you uh, a little bit of insight into a couple of tricks. If there's anything else you want to know, uh, by all means, give me a shout. No problem at all. I'll ping you uh, a message from DA now. Uh, I'll also send you my email address if you want to contact me direct. Hope that helps. Talk to you later. All the best. Cheers now.